despite mainstream media onslaught, Roy Moore leads poll by five points. Roy Moore back on top in polls. There is no question that Alabama Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore has suffered an onslaught of opposition from the mainstream media, whether that be of the liberal variety or even nominally conservative outlets, ever since allegations of sexual misconduct four decades ago first emerged in a Washington Post article in early November. Many presumed the scandalous allegations would utterly obliterate Moore and force him to withdraw from the race. But he has doggedly pushed back against the accusations and, according to one poll, had now regained the lead he held before the start of the media campaign against him, Breitbart reported Tuesday. This, even as NBC News reported that Moore's opponent, Democrat candidate Doug Jones, has received an influx of donations over the past few weeks that has resulted in his campaign outspending Moore's on advertising by a 10-1 margin. Estimates by an ad tracking group revealed that Jones has spent about $5.6 million on political ads during the special election campaign while Moore has only spent about $600,000. Alas for Jones, even with the near entirety of the mainstream media and political establishment on his side, not to mention the cash advantage, polling firm Change Research reported that Moore has taken the lead in its third poll since the allegations emerged by a margin of five points, 49-44 percent. That puts Moore right back where he was before the onslaught, and completely erases a three-point lead Jones had held in a Change Research poll in the middle of November, just ten days ago. The firm noted that the biggest change in its polling results likely came from the fact that a greater number of Republican voters now say they are definitely going to vote for more in the December 12 special election as compared to the last poll, 88-82 percent. Furthermore, Moore's base voters have solidified slightly, while those who said they would write in a candidate dropped from 10 percent to 7 percent. The resurgence in support for Moore is also likely due to the fact that fewer voters apparently believe the allegations against Moore than in the previous polls. On top of that, President Donald Trump's support for Moore, really just a stated opposition to Moore's opponent representing another liberal in the Senate and a refusal to condemn Moore for unproven allegations, probably gave Moore a slight bump among voters. So too did the major Alabama media outlets joining together to officially endorse Jones, which, perhaps counterintuitively, convinced 3 percent of voters to affirm their support for Moore, according to Change Research. Looking more broadly, the real clear politics average of polls showed that Moore now holds a two-point lead over Jones, 47.8 to 45.8 percent. That is a rather significant shift from just two days ago when the poll was virtually tied, albeit with Jones holding a 0.2 percent lead, and further from the 0.8 point lead Jones held just four days ago. The mainstream media and political establishment thought that they could force Moore to drop out of the race, if not completely destroy him, via what increasingly appears to be a ham-handed smear campaign. Obviously, that plan hasn't worked and any further allegations that may emerge in the final days of the campaign, unless attached to utterly irrefutable proof, will likely only bolster Moore's support even further. Please share this on Facebook and Twitter so everyone can see that despite the media and establishment being aligned against him, Roy Moore has once again reclaimed the lead in the Alabama special Senate election.